This pair of elaborately decorated chests are known as cassoni. Cassoni is the Italian word that was used for large, lavishly decorated chests that were made in Italy during the 14th to the 16th centuries. Wealthy households, of course, needed many chests in their villas, but the ornate cassoni that were either painted or carved, like these ones, were usually commissioned in pairs when a house was being renovated for a newly married couple. They were ordered, together with the other furnishings, by the groom. Cassoni were generally decorated on three sides and sometimes painted on the underside of the lid. The bride used the chests to store her trousseau, items of linen, underclothes or purses and combs and personal effects. Until the middle of the 15th century, it was customary, particularly in Florence, to parade these chests through the streets as part of the wedding procession to the nuptials villa. Cassonis like these, elaborately carved or decorated, were symbols of wealth and status and were highly valued luxury items of domestic furniture in the Italian Renaissance Palazzo. The NGV's pair of cassoni are made from walnut, which was a common furniture wood during the Renaissance period and were produced in the later part of the 16th century. The form of the chests is typical of the 16th century and is based upon the ancient Roman sarcophagus. They feature sentinel-like figures on the corners, which are actually suits of armour, quite evil looking because there's actually no heads in the facial armour, large and prominent paw feet and raised lids with gadrooned borders. Apart from their elaborately carved front faces, the cassoni are also ornamented with a range of classical motifs, including acanthus leaves, rosettes, garlands, masks, and gadrooning. The complex scenes across their fronts, crowded with figures, are referencing the decoration of Roman sarcophagi. These chests are carved with biblical scenes from the Old Testament book of Judith, the narrative of which unfolds across the front of both chests, Thus, to have just one chest would have been to only have half the story. The scenes on the chests depict the virtuous, rich and beautiful widow Judith, who delivered the Jews of Bethulia from the ravages of an invading Assyrian army. In many cases, Cassoni panels also provided an excuse for representing ornate scenes of celebration and festivity. In almost all cases, the panels are a riot of activity and embellishment, featuring large numbers of figures crammed into the scenes. Yet behind the spectacle, of course, was always a serious moral message. The Melbourne chests portray Judith in a positive manner as a virtuous heroine, with no suggestion at all of the violence or seduction that is seen in other Renaissance depictions of this famous subject. However, we know that for a while, they were part of the collection of the American newspaper mogul, publisher and businessman, William Randolph Hearst. And we have a photograph showing our Cassoni in situ in his castle in Wales, Castle Donat, sometime during the early 20th century.